Today we're going to be looking at bash arguments. I don't believe I've done a tutorial on this before. And bash arguments, no, this isn't a tutorial where we're going to argue over bash stuff. Arguments, as in argument variables, this is going to be um, basically uh, basically extra input the user can put uh, into your script from the command line. Uh, and if that doesn't explain it well, we're going to have a look at it right now. So let's just, I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, and I'm going to just call my script arg.sh. And we're going to start off with our shebang line, uh, pound exclamation point forward slash bin bash, saying that this is a bash script. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say echo, and I'm going to echo dollar sign one. And, well, let's get a little more than that. We'll say your first arg is dollar sign one. We'll save this script. We'll make it executable so that you can execute it. And then we just do dot slash arg. And if I type that without anything, you can see it just puts your first arg is because we didn't give an argument. So what we can do now is we do, once again, we'll run our script dot slash arg dot sh and we'll say metal x 1000. And now it says your first argument is metal x1000. Now if I type metal x1000 and then I type films by Chris, I hit enter. You can see it doesn't print out films by Chris because there is a space there. Now what I can do is I can edit my script. So we'll make another line here and we'll say echo your second arg is dollar sign two. And that would be our second argument. And there we go, it says your first arg is Metal X1000, your second arg is uh, Films by Chris. Now, let's say you have an argument that you want to be, uh, that has spaces, but you want it to be one argument. Uh, I'll give you an example, like if we want to do Films by Chris with spaces, uh, well, I don't need to edit the text for that. That just depends on how your user inputs it, so you can go... Uh, like so, if I type that, you'll realize it just says my second argument is films because it recognizes this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. But we want all this to be two. How do we do that? Well, you put things inside quotations like that. And that'd be something you just ask to put in. Now you can give a little uh, sample example if people uh, type in your script, you can say this script works like this. And let's look at that a little bit more. You notice that we started on one here, but computers start counting from zero. So what do we do? What do we get if we make a uh, argument of zero? So we're gonna say echo your script name is dollar sign zero. And you guessed it, dollar sign zero is going to be the name of our script. So if we run this, it says your script name is, and it gives basically the first thing we type there. It gives the dot slash, if you type dot slash, if you were to put this into a directory such as bin bash, where you don't have to do dot slash, then if you don't type dot slash, it would print it without the dot slash. It's however the user types it. So another uh, thing to look at here. Uh, is if we were to rename our script. So I'm going to move my arg script to new.sh. So I didn't edit it at all, but I'll run it again. And you can see that the name of my script is new. So that is a great way if you want to have somewhere in your text say, this is how you run this command, you can use that as an example. So that even if your script gets renamed, you don't have to rewrite the script. Whoops, vim new. So an example is use this script like this. Arg one, arg two, whoops. Now if we run that, it gives the user a little bit of an input of how you run this. Uh, did I? You use. Be good if I went to edit mode when I'm supposed to. <laughs> I'll run that again. So it says, 
you use this script like this and it gives an example of how you run it and that way once again if your script gets renamed it doesn't matter it will display the right uh, text there now let's say you just want to grab everything every argument after the script name and use it somewhere well that's simple enough you just go echo all your arguments are and then you do dollar sign and the at symbol and that will give you all your arguments we'll run it so all your arguments are and I didn't give any arguments duh I can go metal X 1000 films by Chris even with the spaces in there um, Linux bash and you can see it prints them all out right here with the dollar sign at symbol one more thing we want to look at here we'll edit our script one more time and we'll add a line that says echo you have dollar sign pound arguments and we'll save that and we will run it again just like so and there is a issue with what I just did forgot to close my quotations here run it again and it says you have six arguments one two, one two three four five six so that's how you count how many arguments you have so if your code is supposed to have three arguments you can check that and do an if then statement so you can say if arguments equals three then continue if arguments does not equal three then tell the user they did something wrong and explain to them what they're supposed to do so that's a quick look at arguments very straightforward uh, you know each one is numbered one through whatever uh, zero is the name of your script all arguments is dollar sign at symbol and the number of um, arguments you have is dollar sign pound symbol also known as a dollar sign number symbol so I hope this helps and we're gonna use this in scripts in the future uh, and once again I'm not sure if I had gone over this in the past it's a pretty uh, basic thing I should have gone over so I thank you for watching and please visit filmsbychris.com there are links in the description have a great day